What is up, everybody? So yeah, um, I missed a week again, but for good reason this time. I had the flu, so I was just dying. And I'm still not totally over it, so I'm still rather sniffly, and for that I apologize. I will do my best to not sniffle. But this drawing is continuing the series that I did with Pine and Daisy. This time the character is Malinas, or Mel for short. He is the leader of Team Mandrake. I have so much developed about him that I have to stop and think about what all do I want to say. I did have issues with the placement on his head because it's just such an awkward angle. This whole pose is great, but some of the angles were a pain because the feet or his head were just awkward. I made it work, but it was difficult. I also maintain that I have no idea how to draw knees. You would think they're simple, but they're really not. There's a lot of bones there. I will say though, I'm quite proud of how this hand turned out. It's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not perfect. It's not super realistic, but like, as far as hands go, that's pretty good. And then I decided to add some little bits and bobs because his outfit was pretty plain, as opposed to Pine and Daisy who had very extravagant outfits. So I gave him the fingerless gloves and some ankle braces. And then I realized with, which I realized a bit later actually, but okay, not that much later evidently. And then I realized he should only have one glove because that way it's a little bit of foreshadowing to the future in which he loses an arm. So obviously I kept the glove on the arm that he loses. It's kind of a, hey look, it's fake. And the nice thing with this one is I'm just grabbing the colors for the most part out of the reference photo, which is a dress up game. So if my colors are screwy, I can't blame it on my computer, which maybe that's a bad thing actually, because that just means I'm bad at colors, but whatever. The process of making this video was quite tedious because I was doing it around work and around babysitting, and then I got sick, and it took a long time, but here we are. Now it's posted. I'm going to work on the next ne the, 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 if I can learn to talk. I'm going to work on next week's video immediately following this. So, you know. Hopefully I won't be getting behind again, because I'm bad about that. Also, I'm recording the voiceover differently this time. 
rather than using my headset and um, opening Audacity and trying to match that to the video and get timing right and everything, I realized that uh, Premiere just has a voiceover button in which I can just record straight into Premiere. So I'm trying that out, but also I don't have my headset with me. So this is just the microphone that my laptop has and it's probably not the greatest. I thought about going down and using my dad's recording setup like I did last time, but I don't know how all his stuff works and my sister's not here to help me. So I'm just doing this. Also, this pole bothers me in this drawing because I forgot to do shading on it, and I'm mad at myself. It's just a flat pole, which is not how that's supposed to work. Poles are supposed to be cylinders. And it's a metal pole, so there would definitely be light shining very specifically off of it. And yet, it's flat. Because I'm bad at art. I'm not sure I like recording the audio like this though, because when I was using my dad's setup, I didn't hear myself while recording. When I use Audacity, I don't hear myself while recording. But here, I'm hearing, I'm saying things, and then hearing it through the earbuds, and it's really weird, and I'm not sure I like that. So we'll see if I continue doing this or not. Probably not, just because I don't like my laptop's microphone, but... The feature itself is very useful because that cuts down the number of programs I'm using and my laptop can already barely handle Premiere, so having Premiere and Audacity is always a struggle. One day I'll get a better computer, but today is not that day. I have other priorities, like trying to keep my YouTube channel going. Also, if anyone has suggestions on where to get some no copyright music, please share, because I have like two songs that I just use over and over, and I'm sure y'all are tired of it. I'm tired of it. I spent so much time playing with layers and filters, trying to figure out the lights. Eventually just gave up and said I'll come back to it. And when I come back to it later, I do the same thing. Because I don't know how stage lighting works. I'm used to being the one on stage, not the one looking at the lights. I will say the shading on this foot turned out really well. I just kind of screwed around with it until something looked good, but like, everything I did looked good. It turned out very nicely. The 
The shading on his face is not quite as nice. But it's not terrible. It's just, I feel like I could have done better. But that is why I continue drawing and continue doing more things. Albeit most of the drawing I've done lately has not been of this character, but ironically of a different character by the name of Mel. That one, however, is Malire instead of Melianus. And she is a very different person. Going back to the lighting thing though, I had no idea how to shade the lighting on his clothing, or his hair really, but it's more noticeable on the shorts than anything because I just I don't know how to how that color would play with the blue. If I was at school, I could just go to the light lab and do that. But I'm not at school. I don't have access to the light lab to play with how lights shine on different colors of fabric. So this whole bit here is just kind of me playing and guessing and hoping for the best. It's just a little gradient kind of thing to hopefully get it from brown to blue and maybe it'll look good. I'm still not really happy with how that bit turned out. But I tried and I gotta give myself credit for that at least. And I wanted the light to be not so flat, so added in a bit more and then shaded outside the light to be darker. And that was the last thing I had to do. So, ta-da! Hope you enjoyed it. Um, actually, not the last thing. I erased what's past him because, you know, he's blocking the light. <laughs> 